Hey gone guys, Ruthless Guna TV. Back with another video, this time to preview the fifth round of the FA Cup between Portsmouth and Arsenal at Fratton Park on Tuesday the 3rd of March, kickoff at 6.45 a.m. here in Sydney, Australia. But before we get into that, if you can just smash that like button and subscribe if you're new, that would be awesome. So let's get into a couple of facts about these two clubs. Um, Portsmouth have never beaten Arsenal in any competition since 1958, and that game ended 5-4. Uh, the last FA Cup match against Portsmouth was in 2003-04 season, and we beat them 5-1 at Fratton Park. When not a top-flight club, Portsmouth have lost their last five FA Cup ties against Premier League opponents since beating Nottingham Forest in the... 1998-99 season. Arsenal have progressed from their last 12 FA Cup ties against sides from the third tier or lower. And the last game we lost was actually against a fourth division side, Wrexham United. And um, that was in 1992. So, yeah, man. Um, let's, hope, let's hope we don't repeat that this time. Especially after that loss we had yesterday. Hopefully we can bounce back from that and get back to winning ways. Portsmouth are also sitting in third place in the English Football League 1. And um, they've also won four out of their last five games. So they're in pretty good form at the moment. Um, they won 3-0 against Rochdale as well just today. So yeah, we've got to be on our A game. I know they're a Division 2 side. But, um, yeah, after that loss, I've lost all hope in the team. But, you know, I hope Arteta rotates the squad around now because they kind of look a bit tired and worn out, even though we just had a bloody break a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Let's just get into the injury list at the moment. So we've got Callum Chambers, Cedric Suarez, Kieran Tierney, Saeed Kalasinac, they're all out. And Mustafi came out. Uh, came off the other day um, holding his hamstring. So I think he's going to be rested for this match. And um, in saying that, let's get into the 11 that I would go with. So first we'll start in goals with Emmy Martinez. I think um, Leno needs a rest now. We'll bring in Emmy Martinez since this is the FA Cup as well. Um, look, it's still an important game, but it's not as important as the Premier League. So yeah, we've got to give him some game time as well. So yeah, we'll put him in goal. All right, right back, I'm going to go with Socrates. Um, I think we should drop Hector Bellerin. He's been terrible. I think Socrates can do a better job than him playing right back. And like I said before, we need to shuffle the team around and give him a rest. And um, yeah, so we'll put Socrates there. Centre back, I'm going to bring in Rob Holding. Um, he's been missing from the squad for a while now. And this would be a perfect game for him to come back and put in a good performance and hopefully get a, you know, get a proper look at from Arteta. So, yeah, um, and especially with Louise and uh, with David Louise making those errors in the last game, if he has a good game here, he could possibly get selected for the Premier League match coming up against West Ham. Uh, the other centre back pairing. I'm going to bring in Pablo Mari. Um, the only reason why he's been out was because of his of his match fitness, but you know it's been long enough now for him to work on it. And um, I think we need to give Louise and uh, Mustafi a rest now. So what better game to bring him in? He's playing like a you know a lower league side. So we'll see how he goes with that. Hopefully he starts. And left back. I'm going to go with Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Um, you know, like in our last game, Bukayo Saka, he looks very tired. He's making a lot of errors as well. So we need to give him a rest as well. But we'll put Maitland-Niles there. He's played left back before. And um, I'm sure he'd do a job there. So for the three midfielders, I'm going to, I'm going to bring in Lucas Torreira. Um... You know, I don't know why he got booted off the squad, like the starting 11. I thought he should have started against um, Olympiacos, but 
you know, looking at everything in hindsight, you know, you can't really say too much. So we'll see how he goes with this one. We'll put Gwen Doozy there next to him and sitting just in front, Joe Willock. Um, you know, Granite Xhaka was also poor and, you know, he probably needs a rest too. He's been playing like nearly every game for us lately. Um, and I think that midfield is good enough to beat Portsmouth. Well, it should be, but who knows, man, we'll see. On the right, I'm going to go for Reece Nelson. You know, he's been fit for a couple of weeks now as well. And, um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see him back in the squad. Haven't seen him play for a while now. And, um, yeah, I'm sure he'd do all right on the right wing. Um, and on the left wing, I'm going to bring in Martinelli. You know, when he came on against Olympiacos, I thought he looked all right. Like, he looked better than most of the players that were on the field. Um, you know, he always brings energy to the game and that fight. And I think he'd be a handful for the Portsmouth defenders. So, yeah, we'll put him there. And up front, I'm going to go with Eddie and Ketia. Let's chuck him in there. Let's uh, get his confidence up. Hopefully, he bags a couple of goals. And if he does play well, I'd like to see him start in the Premier League as well. I think Lacazette needs some time away from the team. Um, you know, he hasn't been playing good at all. He scuffed a really bad chance when he tried to head the ball against Olympiacos when he could have simply just tapped it in with his leg. But instead, he just bent down with his head and tried to, like, you know, head the ball in the goal and completely miss. So, yeah, the guy doesn't know what he's doing at the moment, so... We'll just put Eddie there. And um, score predictions, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for us. I think somehow we're going to leak a goal. But um, we should have enough strike power, enough firepower to get the win here. And um, yeah, guys, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments below what your score, your score predictions are. And I've also started a Facebook page and an Instagram page and I also got Twitter and I'll put those links in the description give me a follow I'll follow anyone back um, that follows me and um, yeah I'll see you guys next time I'm out